Once, one of the priests of the Diocese of Wilcania Forbes in New South Wales was talking to the children at one of the outbike station churches on a Good Shepherd Sunday. All those children had a clear understanding about their sheep, more or less about the size of their farms, and definitely how they master their sheep. Some of them used horses or even helicopters to master their sheep. The priest asked them, what would you do if one of your sheep is lost? The children pondered for a moment and replied, just forget it. Our priest was speechless for a moment with their answer, since he had expected a totally different response about the gospel passage that he already read for them. Children from the bush obviously have a very practical and down-to-earth attitude to sheep. Even though we can find the children's response somewhat amusing, I think that answer does sometimes resonate in our modern context, where those who are in the role of shepherds are too busy and give very little care and concern to the needs of others. We have very little time to go in search of our lost ones who are vulnerable and weak. We are like the Levite and the priest in the parable of the Good Samaritan, when we ignore and leave the wounded and injured behind in our struggle for comforts and security. It is so relevant in today's context when Jesus tells us that he is the Good Shepherd as someone who cares about the flock, someone who knows us personally and is concerned about our well-being. A good shepherd spares his entire life for the security and welfare of his sheep. This is what Jesus showed us, the extreme form of love, sparing his own life on the cross for the salvation of his flock. As Jesus presents himself as the good shepherd in today's gospel, he challenges us, his followers, to be the model of the Good Shepherd. When we claim ourselves as followers of Jesus, the world around us expects from us a leadership resembling Jesus, the Good Shepherd. A commitment and dedication close to Jesus. What comes to my mind at the moment are the lines of the poem by Robert Frost. But I have promises to keep and miles to go before I sleep. Yes, miles to go until Jesus and the image of the Good Shepherd is formed in me.